Everything's all connected, you know, from the soil to the plant to the animal to the food that you're eating. And people say you can literally taste the difference, but you can taste the difference when you're eating, you know, our beef or our vegetables. Hi, I'm Farmer Becky. And I'm Farmer John. And we're with Stone Post Farms. Here at Stone Pulse Farms, we produce pasture-raised beef, chicken, pork, turkey. Free-range eggs, as well as veggies with our market garden and unpasteurized honey. We're out by Wildwood, Alberta. We moved out here in 2016, so we've been here this is going on year five. So we focus on sustainable and regenerative agricultural practices and kind of what that is is we focus a lot on the connection of the animals to the land. For our beef, for example, we do rotational grazing, bale grazing and a few techniques like that which helps improve our soils, which improves our grasses, which improves the nutrients in the grasses, which goes into the beef itself. And so we come out with a nutrient dense, really high quality beef. Um, same goes for our chickens and our pork, which we also do rotational grazing on. When it comes to our veggies, we use a lot of permaculture techniques. So we're moving from, you know, breaking new ground with tilling to moving to a minimal till which again helps the soil structure. We get that really good water retention, good nutrient buildup in the soil, and we come out with really flavorful, nutrient-dense vegetables. We try to focus on soil health and environmental health of our, our farm here. Uh, we think that's really important because in the industrial agriculture scene, right now it's very heavy in synthetic use synthetic fertilizers and herbicides, pesticides, and a lot of research has shown that all those chemicals are having a very negative impact on our soil health. So that's why we're transitioning over towards uh, a more regenerative system. And so it's a bit of a different way of doing it. We don't use a lot of uh, mechanization with everything. A lot of things are done by hand. Um, we don't use any chemicals or anything like that either. The more we've learned, the more we've realized that this method of farming, the regenerative style, is just so much better for, for the world, basically, for everyone. In May of 2016, we moved out to our farm. Uh, the first year, we kind of, we didn't really do direct marketing. We just focused on the farm and moving and settling. We started with 15 cow-calf pears uh, that we bought from John's parents. We had 50 broiler chickens, 50 layer chickens, and we had one hive of bees, and just kind of figuring out where we wanted to go from there. So then in 2017, uh, we started direct marketing and got into a farmer's market, uh, the 124th Street Grand Market in Edmonton. Started selling our eggs and then uh, vegetables and meat chickens later on that year. It kind of snowballed from there. So fast forward to today, uh, we are raising 1,500 meat birds this year. We have 30 cow-calf pairs, 300 layer chickens, four beehives, and we started our own uh, breeding program with our pork, and we have eight sows, those are the mamas. One boar, that's the dad that uh, sires everything, and then a lot of piglets. So our first year when I was cutting hay in our field, I kept hitting rocks with the hay bind. So I, every time I would pick a rock up, I'd stop and uh, take the rock over to the nearest fence and set it on a fence post. And so all over our farm, we had rocks stacked on posts everywhere you looked. And his friend was fascinated with these and started taking pictures of them. And that night he's like, you should call your place rock post or stone post and it just kind of stuck and so that's how stone post farms kind of got started i use the tagline you can taste the happiness in our eggs but it's so true our laying hens 
have, they live the best life. They get to run free wherever they want. And you can see it in the egg yolks. Like it's, they're second to none. Everybody loves our eggs. Once they have them, they never go back. We don't know what we do different, but apparently it's something. Um, they're like crack. <laughs> Literally, we've been told this. <laughs> I think it's really important to focus on local. Uh, when you buy from a farmer, you're, there's no middleman. You're buying straight from us. Uh, whereas the grocery store, there's multiple points of contact, whereas there's one with us. Uh, we spend a lot of time educating our customers, talking to them and answering all their questions. We invite people out to our farm where we can give them a tour, show them exactly where their food is coming from, and we try and, and do that transparency through our social media and websites as well to, to just tell the story and people can understand where their food comes from because it's a lost story right now to a lot of people. Uh, we're hoping in the next couple of years we'll be able to be a self-sustaining farm, meaning we don't have to work off farm to have income. Uh, we're getting pretty close to that, uh, but we definitely want to increase our beef herd. We're really starting to increase our pork and just continue to supply the west central area of Alberta with uh, nutrient-dense, healthy food. I think food is a really good way to bring people together and to build community as well. And I'm just looking forward to building that community, building our, building our natural ecosystems out here, and just enhancing, enhancing the good and tasting the happiness.